your host Toya and today is Thursday so I wanted to talk to you guys about something a little different um, I actually am going through a program to help me you know deal with emotions and really learn how to control my emotions and one of the things um, to prevent you from getting depressed or stuff like that one of the things that came up is is to what can you bring joy like how can you put joy into your everyday life so when you wake up in the morning what brings you joy and that's what you focus on and carry out with you throughout your day. So if it was a life or death situation to where, let's say, you are told, you know, that you have to be joyous every single day, you know, I'm going to put this machine on you to make sure that, you know, that will calculate how joyous you are in a day. And, you know, you have to average a certain amount of joy in every single day in order for you to continue living, then you will make sure that you have that joy in your life today. Like every day, you're going to make sure you do something joyous to keep your life going and prolonged. So that's kind of the ideal behind it is to folk, to help you focus on not so much the bad stuff, but the good stuff as well. Um, I know me, myself, I tend to really go to the negative stuff and the negative side of feeling and how you feel um, instead of focusing on how to turn it around. And one of the ways to turn it around is is to say, how would this be joyous? How can I make this a, a memorable and a, a happy, joyous experience for myself? Um, Y'all ate some cheese and that's what happens. Uh, <laughs> that's why I stay away from it, but whatever um anyway <laughs> congestion so to bring more joy and pleasure into your life like what can you do for that today like how can you include that because bringing those things in your life actually have physical benefits okay did you know that like to be joyous and happy it actually lowers your blood pressure lowers your stress levels you know it actually does things physically for you to stay happy and joyous it's a benefit um, just think about it in any other aspect in life. If you have a nice, healthy, fluffy, like it's supposed to be cake, then it's a good cake. But if the cake doesn't come out the way it was supposed to be, then it's all flat and dull and doesn't look too good, right? Um, doesn't mean it might not taste good, but it's still, it's not the same. If you have to choose between the two, you're going to prefer the happy one. And so it's the same thing with the system in your, your body, the system and organs and things in your body. They prefer you to be happy and joyous, okay? Because it keeps them functioning properly and keeps things moving and keeps your energy good. You know, like a lot of people, we don't talk about energy a lot. And the energy that you have and the energy that you carry, especially throughout your day, it has a toll on you. So if you keep a high, happy, you know, fun-loving, easygoing type of energy with you throughout your day, then that's how your emotions are going to be. That's how you're going to look at things. So you can have the same exact experience as somebody else who's going to be standing right next to you, getting everything that you got in that same day. But because, ha -ha, because you took it in a joyous manner, because you took it in a happy manner, where they may have taken it in a nasty or a negative manner, you feel good. While they might end up with a headache or have a stomach ache or, you know, need to go to the bathroom or something like that. So it really makes a difference on how you portray it. And if you start your day out, like, how can I make today more joyous? I already know what I have to do, whether I have to go to work or if I have to take care of the kids or drop people off to school and soccer practice and all of that. Depending on what you have to do, how can you make it more joyous? How can you add happiness to it? You know, if you know you're going to be stuck in the car. OK, well, how can you make that more happy? Maybe it's. You know, you pick a playlist to listen to before you even hit the road or get an audio book so that you're tuned into something else. Make it more joyous. If you have to do go to work and you hate your job, find a way to make it more joyous. You know, whether it's challenging yourself, you know, like let's say you on the phone. Well, you know what? Let's see how many of these calls I can take today. You know, I'm about to make this a competition for myself and see if I can beat it. You know, beat what I did yesterday, you know. But just find a way to make it happy because the happier you are, the better you're going to feel, the better energy you have, the better your body is going to function. You're going to be less stressed. Your blood pressure won't be high. <laughs> like it really works on a lot, a, a lot of different levels as far as keeping you healthy and keeping your mind processing right. So if you have the choice of being having a joyous day or having a bad day, choose the joyous day. Even if it's something that you don't want to do or don't have to do, pick the joyous day. All right. So that's the message for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you got something out of it, please like, subscribe, and share. Because if you got something out of it, chances are someone else will as well. And drop a comment below. Tell me what you think. All right. I love you guys. And I will talk to you tomorrow.